Hello everyone, my name is Ali and today we'll be talking about the effective population size. If you enjoyed this video or any of the videos in this channel, feel free to subscribe and like down below. Now, in this very short video, we're going to be talking, as mentioned before, about the effective population size, referred to as ME. Now, this stems from the fact that not all individuals in a population are going to be contributing gametes to the future generations, only breeding males and females. Like, offsprings will not be able to breed, therefore, if we count them, we are simply um, altering the answers or altering the numbers in a way or in, in essence we're skewing the numbers in a way that is very inaccurate so in order to represent the most accurate uh, numbers we can take the eff effective population size into consideration now uh, the easiest way to calculate the effective population size is as follows we've got the ne is equal to 4 multiplied by the number of females now worth noting number of breeding females in a population multiplied by the number of the breeding males in a population all divided by the number of breeding males plus the number of breeding females now there is only one case where the number of uh, effective uh, the number that is uh, the effective population size is equal to the number of individuals in a population they're equal this case is when the entire population are actually always all uh, equally cap capable of breeding and they are divided 50% uh, males and 50% females